Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to go ahead and solve 4M. And to do that, I'm going to use inverse operations. Notice on this problem, we have a minus 45. And what is an inverse operation to minus? Well, that would be plus. Now, we need m by itself, which means that we need that 45 to be 0. So, to make it 0, I'm just going to add 45 to that minus 45. But remember, if I do it to one side, I must do it to the other side as well. So I also have negative 92 plus 45, and that would give me m. Now we know there's more negatives here, so we know the answer is negative. So we really can just take 92 and subtract 45. So that 2, we'll need to borrow 1 from the 9 to make it 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. 8 minus 4 is 4. And our answer is negative 47. But I wouldn't recommend stopping there. What I would do if I were you is just check this problem. So in other words, I'm going to go ahead and replace m right here with the value we found, which was negative 47 minus 45. And when I do combine these, uh, by the way, that was a negative 92. I apologize. When we combine those, we get a negative 92 equals negative 92. That's true. Since it's true, we know that this, m equals negative 47, is the correct answer. This is a really good way to make sure your answers are correct on a test. And uh, so I highly recommend doing it, especially on tests and homework. Homework so that you get in the practice of things so that when, you are, when it comes time to do the test, uh, it, it's not a problem for you.